on the toolbar here. Uh, so the here is what I was referencing earlier uh, in the earlier part where you can choose your visible buttons up at the top here. Um, and the ones that have the darker gray color are the ones that are visible. And the ones that have the lighter white color are not currently visible on your view. So I'm going to go ahead and just click this up. And you can see that up icon to go to the previous uh, parent directory went away. Um, and as I mentioned before, I, I just prefer to not really use that one. I just use the you know back and forward buttons and that's enough for me personally. Um, but if you don't need the location toggle, you can turn that off or back on. Um, if you want a quick shortcut to make a new folder up at the top, you can do that. And you can see it added it right over here. Um, and you can change the different views if you'd like. Um, the refresh button is one that I sometimes like to add in in place of the uh, up arrow. Because for me, the being able to refresh the current view is sometimes more helpful, more useful. Um, it's not something that I use very often, but every great once in a while. Um, you can add a button to quickly access this home uh, view, but you can also just click on it on the left here. But if you don't, like, maybe you don't prefer to use the sidebar. Maybe you're like, oh, I'm going to hide the sidebar, but I want to be able to access my home button, or, you know, my home location really easily. You can add the home button right in there, and it will take you straight back to the home location. Um, so there's a variety of ways you can approach customizing and you know even in just Nemo here even just the single uh, file manager file browser there's quite a bit of options here um, there's an open and terminal option which for most people will not be uh, commonly useful but you could use it that way uh, the other way to do that is to just right click on a file and there'll be the option to open it in the terminal um, you can toggle the search if you don't want the search feature to show up there um, and there's also an option to go directly to your computer file system here, uh, which is this computer button, and you click that, um, and it gets you, actually this goes even further, this goes to your drives, you can access your individual drives that you have on your system, and then you can access the file system, so. Um, so that's how you can customize your, uh, your visible buttons on your toolbar at the top here, and make them look and feel the way that you like. So your context menus are uh, what will happen generally when you right click on something. Uh, so when you so the difference is here. I'll just show you as I open up this uh, video view again here. Um, you've got this option here for selection, um, and what that means is if you have an item selected. So I'll just right click on it. And it's not going to show every single one of these for every single item that you select. Um, but these are the possible uh, options. The ones that have the checkbox here are the possible, um, you know, and it's going to depend on the type of file. Uh, so like scripts, for example, that's not going to run when I'm trying to right click on a video. There's no scripts to run with it. Um, but, you know. Uh, but the pin option is there, uh, the favorite option is there, add to favorites, uh, you know, the, the rename option is there. So anything that you have selected could possibly utilize any of these checkbox, uh, you know, um, menu items here. But uh, you can also toggle on ones that are uh, turned off by default if you want, or if there's some of these you don't need, like, oh, I never use the pin feature then you can turn uh, you know pin off and then it won't be on there you can see there's no pin option anymore or you know things like that so you can customize that a little bit uh, to your liking and then here it has uh, options for the background so what that's talking about is just in the empty space here and you can see create new folder uh, you know scripts whatever um, open in terminal is one of the options that's right there open as root so if you didn't want uh, open as root to show up ever you could turn that off here and uh, you know just for example and then uh, no longer do you see open as root when you you know click on the empty space inside of a folder and so um, maybe you don't want to show hidden files to show up there so there's some customization you can do here um, and so specific to icon view, you can add the arrange items and organize by name options. Uh, so, um, 
and that's these here range items organized by name uh, but if you didn't want those in there you could again untoggle them and specific for the desktop if you are clicking right on the desktop like not even in the Nemo folder view but right on here you can see there's that customized option that it had checked in there um, and that's one you can toggle on and off as well uh, so finally there's a section here for plugins um, and this goes kind of deep into deeper into uh, more complex things you can do but if all these uh, features and options are you know uh, not enough control for you and you're looking for even more things that you can do um, you can use plugins um, for actions and scripts and things like that um, so you can see here by default there's quite a few for you know changing the desktop background uh, formatting devices um, you know uh, check your you know your security hash um, signatures um, you can set images as wallpapers you can create new launchers which is a little bit more complex uh, than it sounds <laughs> but um, so you but you can toggle these on and off if you prefer um, you can also use these quick disable and enable all options and then there's a list down here of extensions that you can turn off if you prefer and it tells you what each one of these is installed by default it tells you what each one of these does um, so the Nemo share it says allows you to quickly share a folder from the context menu um, you know, file roller allows managing of archives from the context menu uh, Nemo emblem this is change a folder or fire em or file emblem it's not fire emblems not games uh, <laughs> and it says a uh, folder color switcher it says allows you to change folder colors from the context menu under supported icon themes so uh, just some extra functionality that you can enable or disable if it's something that you prefer to you know have a strong preference one way or the other on um, and you can do that so um, so that just gives you a pretty decent overview I think uh, there's some other options here uh, the view settings you can change the you know the sidebar and toggle that stuff off in here uh, you can toggle off the toolbar if you want uh, menu bars status bars you can toggle all this stuff on or off to your liking there's quite a bit of customization um, you can choose whether or not to show thumbnails again hidden files if you ever need to access them you can do that here from the view menu um, reset things to their default if you you know messed around with stuff too much and you don't know how to get it back to how it was uh, there's zoom control options here and a quick jump to normal size um, you can change the views go is mostly just the navigation options or the uh, up arrows uh, back and forward or to specific um, you know locations commonly used locations or you can use the search from there as well um, bookmarks if you use the bookmarks feature you can actually bookmark specific locations in your file viewer here uh, your file manager and you can access them this way too so if you have a very specific directory you want to easily be able to get to uh, you can just do that and then add it as a bookmark and it will appear on this list and even from the home menu you can just quickly pull it up and go straight to it it's a fairly convenient feature um, and then the event you need help with using Nemo beyond you know the overviews and things like that and your own experimentation you've actually got some help files in here you can access um, and the about menu which we looked at at the start which uh, tells you what version of Nemo you're using and things like that. Um, in addition to Nemo, this is just the default uh, file manager, but there are other ones you can get as well. And the software manager, I believe, has some um, some alternatives. So uh, if you are not super partial to Nemo, you can actually install other file managers. So um, that's one kind of neat thing about Linux as well is that, like pretty much anything, uh, you can customize it or you know use a different version of a similar you know the similar kind of software or application to to uh, do you know the the same sorts of things but in a different way that you prefer so uh, but that pretty much wraps up uh, the Nemo coverage I think um, so I look forward to the next video and I'll go over in some more details probably uh, quite a bit about the system settings and some other things we didn't cover quite yet but thanks for watching and have a great day if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn even more you can find my books at books to read.com slash Jonathan
That's books, the number two, read.com slash J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N.